something magical happened today and I want to share it with you. Y'all know what this tape is. You know exactly where this came from. Anyway, we're, we're gonna skip the entire uh, ripping this crap open and just get straight to the box. Yes, sirree! It is a new Nike box. You know the orange box. That's what's up. This, my friends and family, is the Nike Metcon 2 Amplified. We're gonna get right into it. Yeah, buddy. Look at these, though. Yes, and yes, these are the right and left shoe. They are specifically differently colored, so my ass cannot mistake one for the other. These shoes came exactly like this. They came with this amazing, like, kind of clay dough kind of mixed um, coloring, and I do love the bright volt yellow and the amazing, this amazing blue, this, this very vibrant blue. This original pair, this is the Nike Metcon 1. This pair of shoes has been with me since the drop. I have not been disappointed, I still use these shoes. These have a very stable sole for lifting, whether I be doing squats or deadlifts, as well as keep me gripped up when I'm doing my bench press as well. Uh, I know like you can, I mean a lot of CrossFitters do enjoy this model, but they also do like the Reebok CrossFit shoe as well, which I've heard very, uh, very good reviews about but personally I'm a Nike man so I am Nike fan. I actually specifically only use these in the gym. I never really took these outside of the gym so they're in a pristine condition where uh, I don't get them all dirty and crap. I'm gonna set these ones aside so I can uh, get a lot more acquainted and warmed up to these babies right here. The reason why I bought these are like I said recovery is just as much mental as it is physical and uh, to get me motivated, get me back into the gym, I picked up these babies right here. So, this just screams out, lift, heavy. The difference between the Nike Metcon 1 and the Metcon 2 are just minor adjustments, really. Um, from, what you, from what I see is that the shoe has actually been reinforced here with this plastic piece right here. Um, as you can see as well, back here, the loop has been removed as well for more Achilles support there is a little bit more cushioning on this spot versus the Nike Metcon 1 where it's kind of a little bit thinner. I can tell that the material is a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier. I know in the previous iterations in the Metcon 1 the toe chamber especially where the crease happens like that um, this part right here and it doesn't happen on mine because I keep my, my shoes fresh. <laughs> no, uh, right here, there's a little bit of wearing right here, probably in this portion right here, if you can see it, and on this side as well. So what they have done to fix that has been actually what seems like kind of like an extra stitch or an extra seam to it. Um, I'll actually show you on the blue. Uh, so instead of like one layer of um, this material, they actually double layered it right here. So it looks like it's gonna hold a little bit better. Um, pretty much everything else looks the same, feels the same. I'm not expecting too much of a difference between the two shoes, but at the same time, I'm very excited because they did, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I feel like they did add a little bit of improvements. I kind of wish they still had the, uh, the loop right here so I can help pull my shoe in because uh, I'm kind of a lazy bum. Not too much different between the two. But, you know, for the price point, the Metcon 2s came in about the same price at the drop when these came out. So really not too much different. It's really your preference. I still love these shoes. I've worn them out enough that I really have a good feel for these. I'm gonna have to warm up to these for a while. So I'm gonna be in these, so very excited for these. For those who are Nike enthusiasts, if you want a pair of lifting shoes that will give you a little bit more versatility, the Metcon 1s and the Metcon 2s are probably your way to go. For those who are heavy lifters and definitely want a lot more stability, I would consider getting the Nike Romaleos 2. Those are specifically lift shoes for squats and or deadlifts. But but these ones work just as fine 
doing squats, deadlifts. I can tell you ever since I got these, these have been very solid and very st sturdy for doing squats and deadlifts. So you will not be disappointed. Um, I know there are better shoes out there somewhere, but these ones are my personal favorite, so that's why I stick to them. Um, you know, like I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I got a nicer, more swagged out iteration of a previous shoe that I already enjoyed. So I don't think I could be really disappointed with these shoes. Like I said, I don't expect to feel too much difference, but I might feel maybe a little bit. But I do love these shoes and I'm very excited to get back to lifting. I'm gonna close it out right here because I definitely wanna get to the gym today and try to try these out, get them a little bit warmed up. So yeah, I will leave you there. If you guys did like me doing an unboxing, please leave a comment, hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.